about last season and the one specific game we want to get into. Let's just rip the Band-Aid off. Let's get this out the way and move forward. All right. What happened versus the Istanbul Rams? We doing everything they talk about. You know I'm everything a boss about. Not putting work and gotta toss them out. I'm really biting, they just barking out. I'm really riding, they just parking now. His street, what to talk about? See the big H when I'm walking out. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to this episode of Base Coverage presented to you by, of course, our partners over at K Noah Teamwear. I'm your host, Jamal Clay. As always, don't forget to uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, join in on the conversation. Um, and, you know, I appreciate everyone's support as always. Today, our guest, uh, I decided to take a little trip down south of Barcelona to check in on the on the Dragons to see what they're doing. So I'm uh, bringing in the defensive guy, Mr. Alex Gonzalez Procito, uh, joining us today. To, again, checking on Barcelona to see what, see what they're up to, talk a little bit about last season and uh, see what we can expect from the Dragons and their new stadium heading into 2023 uh, ELF season. So as, as always, before we get into all that, here's a quick word from our partners over at KNOA Teamwear. So welcome back, everyone. Again, thank you all for tuning in. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to join in on the on the conversations, don't don't forget to drop a comment below. Um, for this one, I decided to go down south a little bit, checking on the Barcelona Dragons. Wanted to get uh, uh, a defensive guy on the show and talk some ball a little bit. So today, I'm bringing on linebacker Mr. Alex Gonzalez Posito to the show. So Alex, what's going on, man? How you doing? Hey, how are you? Uh, thanks for inviting me here. So it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, nothing more to say. I mean, let's go to talk about football. Most definitely, man. Hey, listen, we're going into to year three of the ELF. So talk to me, like, how you doing? How you feeling? How's the offseason coming along so far? I mean, it was really okay until uh, I uh, destroyed my elbow. I mean, uh -huh. I destroyed it. We're going to be like six weeks, but it was... Uh, like uh, practicing, I dislocated my elbow. So since there, I'm just focusing on recovery. Uh, I'm going to be for the season. And I think it's going to be a really great season for the Dragons. And let's see, let's see, because we have a, a lot of change since the last year. Yeah. But I think it's going to be a, a good change. Well, let's talk about it, man. And, you know, Last well, let's talk about this. Year one, obviously, you guys finished three and seven, not the season you wanted, but you transitioned that to year two, eight and four, conference champs. Obviously, you're representing the shirt, right? You guys, you guys okay. were your favorite team's favorite team, uh, and you guys are definitely fun to watch. Um, the thing that was exciting is that we saw a lot of a lot of young talent step up and play well, and we also saw a lot of good leadership, especially on that uh defensive side. Um and one of the guys that I like, especially being a former DB, uh, Jordi uh, Brunani, who made the transition from safety to the corner, played well, had four interceptions and a couple big ones, obviously, the one in the in the, in the Ryan Fire game. Um, for you, obviously, you've been with the team for two years and you've been there since the beginning. What's What was the biggest difference from year one to year two defensively? Uh, I think it was like we were more like connected, you know? Uh, I mean, the first year we were like, players around all the uh, this pain and obviously the imports but uh, about the this pain guys I think we were like uh, guys from this team it, the other team you know but the second year we were like just dragons players and we were more like connected also the the coach we had uh, the is the head coach this year uh, they uh, he worked really good with us you know we were super connected with him. We understood uh, our work, and I think we showed it also in the semifinal that we lost for a lot of points. But uh, I think the first half was in the defensive side was not bad, you know? Yeah, most definitely. And, you know, looking at the season you had, obviously, you know, 79 tackles, two sacks, and a forced fumble, um, you know, last season. Uh, you guys were the fifth-ranked defense. Um uh, in the league last year um, with success, obviously 
comes, you know, some changes. And obviously you guys lost a lot of, uh, a good amount of guys this off season, rightfully so to, to other teams. Um, just looking at you guys and like, Hey, like that guy's a baller. And, you know, obviously, you know, they, they were able to sign people like that. Um, when you look at, when you look at, uh, Barcelona going into year three, all right, obviously it's a, it's a great storyline or last year, you guys were a great storyline. You guys played well and you guys were exciting to watch and stuff like that. And a lot of people are going to, you know, a lot of people are going to ask, you know, can they do it again? Right. Um, what's this year's dragon team going to be? Do you guys feel like you always, you guys feel like you're always underestimated in terms of like your talent and who you guys are as a team. And do you guys wear that chip on your shoulder? You can, you can just, uh, go through the Instagram and you're going to watch the ranks and that stuff. And you just see like, we are like the last one, maybe the three, four behind. It's like. I don't know why, but it's okay. It's 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 a uh, fun to be the underdog, you know. For me and for the guys, uh, Jesse Brugnani always say that it's like I really love be the under underdog, you know. Um, for us, it's like okay, if we have to show it or or another year, let's do it. The beauty about playing football in Europe is that literally every year is a new year in the sense that, you know, guys for the most part aren't signing like multi-year contracts. So every year pe teams have to build a team from scratch. So to say, um, let's talk about last season and the one specific game we want to get into. Let's just rip the bandaid off. Let's get this out the way and move forward. All right. What happened versus the Istanbul Rams? Whoa. <laughs> this way was was terrible because the trouble was tough. I mean, it's not excuses because we played bad. I mean, yeah, that's that's the reality. I mean, I can say a lot of things, but we play horrible game. Uh, but um, what I was to say, it's like was a terrible week. Was a a, a bad uh trouble. Was a bad um. I don't know. You know that here in Europe, if you play uh, a lot of years, you know that a feeling when you're traveling that you have a lot of hours, the thing is not going well, you arrive late to the auto, you know, things is like going crazy. I don't know what's happened here, what happened there, you know, and you have that feeling in the game. It's like, fuck, what, what's going on here? You know, <laughs> we're supposed to be better that we are playing and you're trying to do wasn't the day, you know what yeah. I mean? And they play really good. They signed the quarterback dude, the, the wide receiver. They were like super good players and they just made it. Also, the linebacker, the uh, I don't remember the name, then I think it's the 42, is a fucking uh, oh, beast. Zach. Zach, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's uh, with the home now, yeah. The maniac, they call so, him. Yeah. So they beat us. So it was like, okay. It's not our day. Yeah. Hey, listen, you know, people saw that and obviously, you know, immediately, you know, they make the video, the same one you guys made when, when you beat them. Um, not to mention you guys made made that uh, two weeks in a row cause, uh, after the Ryan Fire game. So it wasn't necessarily a, a, a shot at them. Um, but also the following week, or I think it was the week after, they, they took – who would eventually go to the ELF championship, the c -Devils. they took them to overtime. So maybe right. that was just a, a Rams team that was about to just turn the corner. Ultimately, it didn't, it didn't pan Actually, out. Actually, I, I, th I think the week that we played against them, they signed like 11 players or like, I don't know how many people signed <laughs> that week, but it was crazy. It was like, well, wh why we're going to do scout if yeah, it's yeah. a totally different uh, team, you know? And well, I uh, was saying like the next week against Sea Devils, they played a r tough game, real good so, game, yeah. yeah. Took, took them, so, took them to overtime, so it was definitely, uh, yeah, it definitely was. It wasn't a fluke. All right, let's move forward. Right, twenty twenty two is in the past. We're on twenty twenty three now, right? Um, you know, seeing the Dragons from year one all the way up to now, what are your thoughts on what the ELF has done for Barcelona? I mean, I think not just for uh, Barcelona, um, the league is getting big, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, 
we have a lot of teams. We have a a lot of uh, higher signing. They are watching that uh, the league is uh, getting bigger. Um, and I think that the the league is managing like good in that spec. And also we have uh as a dragons uh we have a really good uh schedule because uh our general manager and the uh, the guys that are working for with the league they made it a really good schedule. We have like uh, I think it's four play uh four games sorry uh by four games by and then four games more. So it's a really good. The last year was terrible. <laughs> I think when we play like one game or two games and buy it, we're like okay. <laughs> A lot, it's a long stretch yeah, so, now. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I think it's 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 good. I hope for real that this league is gonna be every year, each year, very better. And and I I I let's see this year how how we feel like with the travels, with the uh, the autos. You know that is keeping like in a good way. Yeah. Well, definitely. Um. I love that the league is getting bigger. I love that it's expanding. I love that we're getting, you know, quality teams and, you know, they're, they're very selective about who's coming in. Um, so I, I appreciate about that. I remember a lot of people didn't even think this was going to, you know, even make it this far. Right. And, you know, you know, from year one and now we're already at seven, 17 teams heading into year three. Um, hey, new stadium. It's beauty. It's a beauty. And yeah. I'm, on record, I'm on record saying that the Barcelona fans are probably one of my favorite fan bases in the league. Just the passion, the character, the the energy, the the vibes. You know, now you now they're going into a stadium where it's one is closer to Barcelona. So you know, instead of having like nine hundred thousand, you know, per game, maybe you'll get close to maybe like fifteen hundred, two thousand, or maybe even three thousand, right? And yeah. it's, it's it's definitely gonna be a blast. What are your thoughts on playing in the new stadium and opening up against, you know, the Helvetic guards in prime time at that uh, week one on June third? Yeah. Well, look, we are uh, super excited to have that first game because you know last year, well, actually this year we lose a lot of uh, Spanish players, you know, in different teams, and we have one guy in this team, so it's exciting like to save him, like yo. You're gonna lose against us, uh, against us. So uh, it's super exciting that uh, we're gonna have that first game to just show it that our talent. Um, actually, what what you say is it's the truth. That we are super near uh, to Barcelona. I mean, it's not Barcelona, Barcelona, but it's like in train is like 20 minutes, 15 minutes. It's not like that far. And it's a lot closer than two is, hours. Yeah, yeah <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Uh, and the stadium is dope. I mean, it's it's big. It's like under the grass. I mean, it's like under, and you can see like all the grass is super, super, super beautiful. And and what is saying like uh, our fans are gonna enjoy it, and, and we're gonna have uh, a lot more fans because the people that it's more like, well, I have to spend the gas here to get there yeah. and wherever. It's not gonna happen here because you get the train for like four euros yeah i'm just saying I don't, i'm not pretty sure but like it's not like uh you're not gonna spend 100 euros to go and come back you know with the gas and whatever so i'm really excited to play there and and just show that uh what we have yeah it's like i said for for me just so i'm not sure if you know but my background in europe is that i played in switzerland so naturally i i I have to keep a close eye on the Helvetica guards, but mm. needless to say, I'm excited to you know see them play you guys week one in prime time on 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 June third because that's going to be not only a great matchup, but I can already sense you know the atmosphere that that's going to be there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, real quick, you know, before we wrap this up, I got two more questions. Um, the first one, you know, obviously you play a position that. Uh, it's a heartbeat of the defense at the linebacker position. Actually, one of my coaches is now your coach, uh, Coach DeRazzo. Um, mm -hmm. he, was, he, was my, he was one of my coaches in uh, Switzerland, so now he's at Barcelona. Um, so you play a position that's the heartbeat of the defense at the linebacker position. You know, looking looking around at the league, who are some of the guys that you like to watch, even when you watch a film or, like, you're watching a game, like, yeah, he's a good dude. Or, like, yeah, he's a dog. Who are some of the guys you, you take a look at? For me, I mean, since he came to Europe before ELF, he's AJ Welland. Yeah. Jesus Christ, he's 
I don't know how he do the things that he do. It's like, I don't know. It's crazy. I mean, when I watch uh, uh, his tape, it's like, yeah, he's all over he's the place. Fly around. Yeah. He's all, all the place right there. And it's crazy. For me, it's the best leg backer that I never seen in Europe. Yeah. Yeah, he's a he he he's a, he's a dog. He's an animal, and he's literally he averages you know double digit tackles per game. I think he had like one fifty yeah. last year. So AJ AJ is definitely uh, one one of those dudes that you know you have to game plan for when you game plan for you know that Leipzig defense yeah. next year. Yeah. Um, and physically, it's all the all the level. You know, it's yeah. like all the spectrum is like crazy. Yeah. Well, before we wrap this thing up, my man. Uh, Last question I got for you. Looking at the 2023 Barcelona Dragons, are you guys still – would you still consider your guys, you know, your favorite team's favorite team heading into next season? Uh, I hope so. I hope so, yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, I think uh, we're going we're gonna to show up like we have like a, a really, really, really good uh, group of people and, and we're going to just – Show that uh, all skills. I mean, for example, the last year playing uh, our team, uh, Alex uh, Fernandez, La Rubia, he's a really good guy. He's just played, I mean, he played just one uh, month or two months in Mexico, but he's just from here in Spain. So we have talent here, and this year we're going to show like all the talent uh, we have here in, the, in Spain, and I'm really excited about it. Most definitely. Well, hey, man. I appreciate you guys coming on. You guys are, uh, you guys are definitely fun to watch. Uh, it was fun watching you last year. You know, running around out there, obviously giving giving uh, the chance to play the full season. I know uh, first season a couple of injuries uh, had you going, but hey, man, I appreciate you coming on, and you know we'll keep a close eye on you. And, and you know this won't be the last time we chop it up, my friend. That was an honor, bro. Thank you for inviting me. So. Uh, let's see if we can repeat this and just <laughs> telling you that we won the uh, ELF championship. <laughs> Most definitely. We'll take care, my man. Everybody, hard work, build no battle. Stop.